Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Queensbury. So, very cool thing about this community, every single home is a next gen. I know a lot of people are really, really looking for those. So if you don't know what a next gen is, it basically has an apartment attached to it, a mother-in-law suite, son-in-law suite, however you wanna call it. There is an apartment, so an extra living room and bedroom, separate entrance inside the house these are really cool also make sure to follow my second youtube channel link down below let's also do a giveaway so congratulations to last week's winner i'm gonna put your name right here you have to message me on youtube i'm gonna reach out to you have to email me back because i can't get you that 25 dollar amazon gift card again 52 weeks 52 gift cards let's get into this one so this one right here this one is the, sorry about the sun. This is the Liberty Next Gen. It's 3,348 square feet. It is a five bed, four and a half bath, 3,400, or excuse me, 3,348 square feet, three car garage, and it starts at 511,990. So just real quick, I wanna swing across. So it's gonna be this one, and a single story next gen. Stay tuned for that one. I'm gonna film that one right after, but let's get into this one. So make sure to like this video. It really, really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to subscribe because I put videos out every single day. And if you want to win a $25 gift card, I'm gonna be giving away one this time, again, with this video. So you have to like this video, you have to subscribe, and you're gonna to have to comment down below a little secret phrase that I'm going to ask later on in this tour. But let's get on into this one. So like I say with all new homes, don't go into the sales office, don't go filming or excuse me, filling out information online because if you do, the sales associates and the builders will not let you be represented. The sales associates, they actually have their fiduciary responsibility, the builder. And if you go in, talk to them, they will not let you be represented Tell them you want representation, call a realtor, ask questions. All of my info is down in the description below. So this is this two-story model. Just let me close the door real quick. Before we check out the downstairs, let's go on up, which is really cool. You have this huge entrance. Now, by the way, if you're wondering where Queensbury is, we are up here in North Las Vegas. You have the little nook right here. I love how open this is. Now, with this builder, pretty much everything you see is what you get. So their price points are very, very true to what the actual home is gonna look like. I know a lot of people always ask for, you know, standing inventory. What does it look like? What does it look like? I know some of the builders put a million dollars into the model. This home probably has Call it thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars. They obviously did the flooring. This is the upgraded flooring. It has the upgraded carpet. It is going to just because I know how Lennar does business. The model is going to have the backsplash, and they're going to have the window treatments. Now, in some of the uh, communities, I don't know about this one. The window treatments are included. So, right here we get to our loft. Not a bad size loft. Not a huge size loft. Just want to spin this is kind of cool though that you have this whole workstation i know right now everyone's working from home because of 2020 and what happened in the world but what i do appreciate is these are nine foot ceilings up here they're really really tall a lot of times the builders give you eight foot ceilings on the second floor it's not the biggest loft in the world it is a very very nice size loft don't get me wrong they have this whole workstation area let me know, would you put a desk right there? What would you do with this kind of little nook area? Not bad at all. I love when I see these lofts. They even give you the pre-wire, the J box. So if you want to add a light chandelier, any sort of a ceiling fixture, you already have that ready to go. Nice size window. I bet you, I can't tell right now because of the fake TVs covering it. Normally what they do is they already give you all of the wiring up on the wall. So if you want to mount a TV, you can. Let's go ahead and check out this balcony really quickly. Now it's cool again. We cannot go out there. 
Um, very nice sized balcony. The mountains up here are amazing. Now, can't promise that they will always be there because they are building so much up here, but really pretty views, at least for the time being. Again, I'm just gonna spin around so you can see this loft area. It, it is a nice size. Let's meander down and see what else we have. Again, if you have any questions on anything you've seen today or any other videos, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me. And also make sure to hit that like button. Is this the, I don't think this is the master, but this is a very, very nice room. Huge window. Again, they're gonna give you that pre-wire cap for those uh, ceiling fans, lights, or chandeliers. Again, you could easily do a chandelier in here because the ceilings are 10 feet. So that's a queen size bed. That's a huge desk. They have the chair. They even have two little, well, let's call it a bench at the bottom, a big dresser. They even have the tree. I know I always joke about that, but I'm just gonna spin real quick before we go into the closet. And this is an ensuite room too, because it has its own bathroom. This is basically a junior suite. So big, I mean, that dre or, uh, nightstand is almost as big as a desk. This is a really, really good size room. And I. This is the first time I've walked in the home. So I don't think this is the master. Don't quote me on it. We're gonna find out together. No, this is definitely not the master. So walk-in closet. I love the fact that they did the double bar and shelf. Nice size. It's probably, let's call it six by five, maybe a little bit bigger. Nice, very, very nice. Now again, they did the upgraded flooring in here. No, this is definitely not the master. This is an ensuite, junior suite. I would have died to have this bedroom growing up. So this is the standard cabinet, standard countertop, standard undermounted sink, which is really, really cool. Standard appliances, standard um, faucet. I'm just gonna check. So they don't have the soft closing. You may be able to upgrade, but what I always tell people, don't spend the money on it. Go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot and buy the soft closing hinges there because you will save money. I'm just gonna open this real quick. So, tub shower combo. This is a fiberglass composite material. There's your tub filler, your faucet handle, and your shower head. So, it's not stone, it's composite. Again, I know a lot of you are laughing because you already know what I'm gonna say. Soap niche, but at least you have the whole shelf along the edge. Not bad, this is actually a really nice bathroom. Just spin real quick. And again, you have to remember, this isn't a shared bathroom. This is a bathroom inside a bedroom, so it's pretty nice. Let's come on out head down the hall and see what else we can find. So into the next bedroom. Again, this is a nice size bedroom. So not as big as the other one, but definitely not small. Again, you're gonna get the pre-wire cap up above the J box for your light chandelier fan, whatever you wanna put. That's a full size bed. You have the two little ottomans right there. You could put a bench, they have the dresser and they did a nightstand on each side. And as you can see, there is definitely a room. You could put a queen size bed in here with those two nightstands. What I would do is maybe cheat the bed over just a bit and then put a desk under the window. That's just me because you could fit a desk in here. Not a bad size room at all. It's big compared to other rooms that I've seen. A lot of the builders are building teeny tiny rooms. It's just that first bedroom we went in was huge. You have a standard two door closet. It is a little bit oversized. Let's just see if it goes behind. So it does go all the way back. So there's a good amount of closet space in here. Again, if you wanna add more space, you could raise the bar up and do a second one like they did in that other bedroom. They even have some hangers right here. Not a bad size room at all. It just needs a light or like some brighter lights. 
at the nightstands. Right here, I'm guessing linens. Yep. So we have our linen closet right here. One, two, three, four, five shelves. Good size linen closet, not huge, but it's nice size. Sometimes the ones that actually go like all the way back here, you lose stuff when you bury them. So not bad. Right here, we do have the upstairs bathroom. So this is going to service that bedroom, this bedroom, and the loft. So again, upgraded flooring. These are the standard cabinets. Again, standard counters, standard undermounted sinks, standard faucets. Not bad, they even actually give you, I know some people joke, they give you one, two night or uh, medicine cabinets. Not bad, it actually, it feels very open. I know sometimes when you go into these, they feel very, very claustrophobic, very narrow. What's cool is also, so I'm just gonna back up real quick. You have a doorway right here and you have a doorway right there. So you can actually be using the toilet or the shower and someone can still use the sinks, which is actually a really, really nice feature. Right here we do have, let me turn on the light. We have our toilet and the exact same shower tub combo as the other bedroom. Nice window way, way up top. Not bad. I think you might be able to option glass. Sometimes they offer that instead of just the, uh, the rod but I don't want to quote it because they do different things in different communities. And again, this community is pretty new. Let's come into the third bedroom. So what do we have? Oh, golf. And another really big bedroom, really big bedroom. So that's a full, yeah, that's a full size bed. They have a desk, they have a nightstand, they have a dresser, they have the tree. They have their golf bag. There's three windows in here and they do give you just like all the other rooms, the J box, the pre-wire cap. I'm incredibly impressed with how big these rooms are. They're really, really big. This is at least 12, no, it may, it's, it's probably bigger than 12 feet deep. It's probably, I'm gonna guess 13 by 10. It's big. And that first bedroom was even bigger. So big, big, big dresser, full size bed. They give you the same closet as in that last room. They have a desk and they have a nightstand. And this is a big nightstand. There's even another, I don't know, 15 inches on that side. You could almost have a, a couch in this room. It's a big, big room. Now, coming out of this room, let's head across the way just real quick, one spin so you can see all of this again. Again, if you have any questions about what you've seen, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me, even to ask, you know, what's going on with the market? What's going on in the world? Please feel free to reach out to me. Give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. Into the laundry room. Now, usually these are on like, yep, there we go, light sensor. So it's a big, big, big laundry room. Right here, you have all of your linen storage. They have the doggy treats. This thing right here is for all of your Cat6 internet connections. I'll walk out and show you what I mean by that. So there's no dead spots in the home, which is a really cool um, factor about the home. So it's all uh, Wi-Fi enabled and all that kind of stuff. So very, very large laundry room. The only complaint, and I like to nitpick because I know people, you know, if you're a buyer and you come to these homes, you don't want me to just praise, praise, praise. You want me to tell you I feel like it needs a sink. It's a big, big laundry room. And I feel like maybe a sink right here with some cabinets, that would make it perfect. Other than that, very, very nice. It's just how big this laundry room is, it needs a sink. Let's keep on going. So into the master bedroom. Now what's funny about this is this master doesn't feel that big, but again, those secondary bedrooms were so big that it just makes this room feel little. It's a very, very, very nice size. So king size bed, two big windows, two nice size uh, end tables or the um, nightstands. Now that balcony and covering is standard with the slider. 
They have a dresser, even a little chair, and the tree. But this is standard. A lot of builders, if you were to do just the, the balcony and the first floor, that would be like a $10,000 option. Plus the covering, this would be like at minimum $15,000 at other builders. Just here, the, one of the nice things I always tell people about Lennar, whether or not you like them, is what you see is what you get. You're not gonna go spending $100,000 in options and upgrades. Again, everyone has their preference. Nice size bedroom. Let's check out this master bath. So coming into the master bath, before we go check out everything else, let's check out this closet. So, very nice size closet. It's actually huge. So double bar and shelf all the way around. And that's so cool how even the shelves go all the way to the ceiling. You could easily, easily, sorry, I'm trying to back up, put an island or an ottoman or something in here. It's a very, very large closet. Coming out of the closet, right here, sorry about the sun. It's our toilet area. And then it's a nice size bathroom. It's big. You have your double vanities again, undermounted sinks, standard countertop, standard um, cabinetry. It's a long vanity. And even, I know people joke about it, you get a medicine cabinet there and you get a medicine cabinet here. I'm gonna spin around. I feel like maybe you need something here. Let me know what you think down below. I actually do love hearing everyone's comments and what they have to say. So you have separate tub. I'm so, so incredibly happy that they did the privacy glass. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. It's like blown out because it's so bright. They did like the rain water glass. They have separate tub, separate shower. And again, these are those fiberglass composite tub shower combos. They may actually have a, um, a, uh, what's, excuse me. They may actually have a stone option available. I do not know. So don't quote me on it. Honestly, it changes every single community they do. They do at least give you a very nice soap niche and you have a bench. Let's come on out, go downstairs. Let's check out that next gen area. Let's check out the living room, kitchen, dining even the backyard. Again, <clears throat> when you buy new, make sure to keep in mind that the backyard will not be completed. That is up to you to finish it however you like. So if you have any questions, again, please, please, please feel free to give me a call. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Now, coming down into the main living space. Before we get into like the living, dining, everything like that, let's check out what we have right here and then we'll go into that next gen room. Wow, let me turn on the light. So coat closet is massive. It's huge. I, this is kind of funny. I wish they'd put another bar right here. I get that they don't want to close off this space, but a lot of storage space. It's, it's large. Tons and tons of space. Again, the home is like, what, 3,400 square feet. Coming down the hall a little bit more, the entryway, we have our powder room. Again, everything you see in here is standard minus the flooring. So standard cabinet, standard countertop, standard sink, standard faucet. Very, very nice. Now, normally what they do in the wet areas, I don't know this community. Again, it's so new. They're either going to put tile or laminate in all of the wet areas, and then everything else will be carpet. So let's do a giveaway today. Again, congratulations to last week's winner today. I want to know, do you own a home or do you rent? Are you living with family? Let me know down in the comments below. Again, in order to win, you have to like this video. You have to be subscribed and you have to comment down below. Do you own a home? Do you rent? Are you living for free? No judgment. I'm just, I'd love to hear what everyone has to say. Again, it was fun seeing where everyone's from all my followers on the last video or the last giveaway. So. They have a sitting area and then they have the living space. This is kind of interesting. They 
Let me know also in the comments, would you set up a little sitting area right next to the living space? Very, very curious to hear everyone's thoughts on this. So they have one, two, three big windows. They have the living space, but before we see all this, the kitchen, the dining, let's check out this next gen because this home is a next gen. So right here, this is your three car garage. This is the apartment. Now, let me turn on the light real quick before we come in here. One second, let me back on up. Now, normally this door right here, it will not be glass. It's gonna be solid and there'll be a lock on the other side and you can come in right here. This is the front door for the apartment. Right there is that third car garage. You even get a little porch, really cool, really nice. There's a side entry to the backyard. Now that is another lot that eventually will be done and you have this whole walkway. So it truly has its own entrance. So again, coming back in, this would be entering from the next gen, the apartment. Right there again is our access to the main living. I'm just gonna open the door so we can open right here. Now, this is so cool about the next gens. They give you a washer and dryer inside the unit. This is included. The washer and dryer upstairs usually are not included. This one is, and I always say this about these apartments. They're so incredibly nice. These are nicer than my college apartment. You have this whole entire living space. They even give you like a little area for dining. Again, you know, you may only have like one person or maybe two living in it. So you have living all right here. They even have the plant. I know people always laugh about that. And then you have bedroom. You have a full blown kitchenette. Now they can't put a stove and oven in here because then it would be uh, zoned for dual or multi living. Right now it's single family. So they give you the little area that you can put like a little table. They give you all of the same cabinets, whatever you choose in the main kitchen, you're gonna get that throughout. What I see people do for these is either a hot pot or a hot plate. And then this sink, this is a really nice stainless steel undermounted sink. It has a garbage disposal. It even has a landline behind that little plant right there. You can always change this to a convection microwave and then you can have a full blown microwavable oven. You have all of the same cabinets again, like in the kitchen. And I'm almost positive, don't quote me on it, that that refrigerator is included. So, again, this is nicer than my apartment in college. <laughs> really, really, really nice, really awesome. Now, again, this is the apartment portion. So if you have a parent, you have a kid, you want to rent it out now. You can't rent these out up here because we are in North Las Vegas and other communities you can. Usually long-term, if you wanna do like Airbnb and that kind of stuff, you have to have a business license. I think it costs like $1,000 and you can do that. So I believe that's, that's a full-size bed. You could fit a queen size, a king would be big. Full-size bed, two nightstands. They even have a nice big window and they have access out to the backyard right here. Now again, They've like made it so you can't unlock this. The patio is included. The patio covering is included. It extends all the way out and around. You'll get pavers right to where this grass starts all the way down. And then the rest of the backyard is up to you to finish it however you so please. So make sure that when you buy new, it's gonna come dirt. Make sure you allot however much money you need or want to finishing the backyard. It's, you can finish it however you want if you want to do just standard backyard on average out here it's about call it ten to fifteen thousand dollars to do a backyard if you want to add a pool spa heater all of that good stuff expect to pay at minimum forty thousand dollars so again dresser two nightstands full-size bed just a standard two-door closet slider and into the bathroom so on this one they just put the single vanity Again, everything you see is included minus the flooring. You have a toilet and I love the fact that when you see these next gens, they put a shower, not a tub shower. Again, really picky. It would be nice if they had a zero threshold or a curbless. 
they don't really offer that. Those get really, really expensive and they try to keep the cost down. Again, fiberglass composite material, plenty of soap niches. You have one, you have the bench, you have the other bench and you have the next soap niche. So there's your shower head. Not bad at all. Very, very, very nice. Let me spin around really quickly. This bed, it just, I feel like this bed may be too high in here. It just, it eats up the whole room. But other than that, nice size room. It's awesome the fact that you get access right out back and you have your own access to the front yard as well. I love these next gens. Let me know what you think about them down in the comments below. Honestly, when I show them to people, it's about a 50-50 like, dislike. Either you love the next gen or you hate it. So coming back into the main living area, before we get into that, right here, just so you can see, oh my, is your pantry. Let me turn on the light. Large pantry, very large pantry. So you have five shelves. It's probably four by four, four and a half by four and a half. What you can always do if you need more. Storage is add another shelf up above. And then really love how open this is again make sure to comment down below do you buy or do you own a home do you rent a home where is your home ownership status i'm gonna come over here just so you can see everything so the island i like this size island they have bigger islands in other communities but then that gives you enough space for your dining area so four stools would be tight you could probably fit it they have storage underneath on this side. They have like four different color ca uh, cabinets. They have like four different color countertops. You can pick whatever you want. There's a little espresso area right here. Again, that is leading into the next gen. They did the 42 inch uppers and there's 10, or excuse me, nine foot ceilings downstairs and upstairs. You can tell these are the 42 inch uppers. I love the fact that they have the little espresso bar and look how much counter space there is. Now, one of the upgrades they did is the backsplash. I'm gonna come over here real quick, just so you can see the island. So pantries on, or excuse me, cabinets on this side, cabinets on that side. You have your huge undermounted sink, really, really large undermounted sink. This guy right here, if you don't know what that is, that is your reverse osmosis water filler. So basically bottled water comes out of that. There's some filters underneath the sink and your view from washing dishes. You have your stainless steel dishwasher. And if we spin 180 degrees, more cabinetry, there's so much cabinetry here. More counter space. Right here we have our four burner cooktop plus our fifth burner is that center grill area. You have your microwave. And then I always like to check, it looks like it's gonna be, yep, they do vent outside. I love the fact that they extended this whole thing down here now. I know we're not supposed to be having buffets with how the world is right now, but you could totally have a buffet over here. Look how two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And then there's, there's a lot of cabinets up there. Now again, backsplash is optional. They put the phone jack right here. I'm kind of surprised, honestly, that they didn't put the phone jack over there. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. If we spin, I like this. I like how this feels with our dining table right here. They could have extended the island out, you know, another foot and a half, but then I feel like it would have been so narrow right here and trying to get outside just wouldn't have made sense. I'm actually really, really happy because a lot of the homes that I film, I feel like the dining area is very, very cramped. Now they have a nice big round table, five chairs, and then another window and our slider. And again, with the backyards, everything past these pavers is not going to be done. It's gonna be dirt. If you wanna see other videos, I've shown some um, standing inventory of what to expect. This home right here is probably, I can't see as far that way as I would like to. I'm gonna guess, call it, 12-ish, 10 to $12,000 for this backyard. So definitely keep that in mind when you are looking at new builds, new construction, that you will be responsible for finishing the backyard however you like. 
Let me know what you think about this one. Again, make sure to like this video and subscribe. You have to comment down below. Do you own a home? Are you renting? What is your status on home ownership? I'm very, very curious to see. Let me know what you think about this one. Again, if you want to win that $25 Amazon gift card, you have to comment down below. You have to like this video and you have to be subscribed. Now, if you have questions about this video, any other video that I have shown in the past, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to call me. Feel free to text or email me. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.